Backend Query. Backend Query helps you to trigger a query automatically whenever a user navigates to the page containing the query. You can set a backend query on a particular widget or an entire page. The information retrieved using the backend query can be used in any widget present inside. Types of Query Flutterflow provides the following types of backend queries that you can specify on any widget or page of your app. You can navigate to the specific backend query page to learn how to use it. Query Collection Used to retrieve a record, or a list of records, from a Firestore collection. Document from Reference Used to retrieve the details from a document reference. API Used to trigger an API call. An Algolia search. Used to trigger an Algolia search on a Firestore collection. The difference between an action and a backend query. Action requires the user to perform a gesture like a tap or a double tap on the widget containing the action. You can specify more than one action on the same widget. Backend query gets triggered automatically as soon as the user navigates to the page containing the query. You can specify only one backend query on a particular widget or page. Change loading indicator. While the backend query is busy retrieving results, it shows the default project theme loading indicator, which you can change from settings and integrations, general greater than theme loading indicator. However, if you want to replace this with a custom loading indicator, such as a GIF image, follow the instructions below. To change the loading indicator, ensure you have added a backend query. Open the backend query section on the right side and scroll down to the backend query loading widget. Open it by clicking on the arrow icon. Set the loading widget type to image. You can also choose a component if you have already designed a loading component. Enable the view in UI Builder. This allows you to see your custom loading indicator on canvas. Choose the image type, add the image, and adjust its padding and width. To show the indicator in the center, turn on the center image toggle. Run the app, and your custom loading indicator will appear while the data is being loaded. What is a query collection? A query collection helps you to retrieve a record, or a list of records, automatically whenever a user navigates to the page containing the query. The information that is present in the record can be used to update any widget present inside. Prerequisites In order to use this backend query, you should have completed all the steps of Firebase setup for your project. At least one Firestore collection defined in your project. Defining the query. Go to your project page on Flutterflow and follow the steps below to define a query collection backend query. Select the widget or page on which to apply the query. Select backend query from the properties panel, the right menu. Select the query type as query collection. Choose the Firestore collection to use for performing the query. Under Query Type, select either List of Documents, returns a list of document references, or Single Document, returns only one document reference. If you have selected the list of documents in the previous step, you can set a limit to the maximum number of documents returned. If you want to apply any filter for retrieving the documents, click Plus Filter button. Select a field name that you want to use as the filter, choose a relation, e.g., equal to, greater than, and then select the value source, either as a specific value or from variable, with which the relation is to be checked. You can also set the order in which the documents should be returned, click plus order by button. Select a field name to be used for ordering, and choose the order to be either increasing or decreasing. Click save. If the selected query returns a list of documents and if it's applied to any flexible widget, like column, row, or list view, then Flutterflow will generate the children widgets dynamically. A dialog will be displayed with a similar message, click OK. Using Query Data The documents retrieved from the backend query can be used to set the record values to the widgets present inside. Follow the steps below to use the document record data. Select the widget, e.g., text, image, or toggle icon, on which you want to set the record data. From the Properties panel, select Set from Variable. Choose the source as the record variable. The variable gets automatically generated when you add the collection query. Under Available Options, select a field name from the dropdown. You can also specify a default value. It is used if the record field is empty. 
click Save. You can follow similar steps for using the record data on the other widgets as well. Code Overview You can view the code that is generated by Flutterflow in the background by going to the Developer menu, View Code from the Toolbar. On adding the collection backend query to retrieve a list of documents, a code similar to the following will be generated. Stream Builder helps in rebuilding the widget present inside it with the latest data. That means, whenever any document gets updated on the Firestore collection it would reflect here automatically without any user interaction. Stream is used to listen to any changes in the collection specified. The Query Builder is used for defining the query on the collection, where is used to define a filter, and order by by default fetches the documents in the increasing order of the field specified. Builder is used to return a widget or a list of widgets, snapshot. Has data can be used to verify whether the retrieving process is complete. 